Hey guys, it's Apps here. Today we want to be diving deep into the world of website cloning. I want to talk about it. I want to talk about the pros, the cons, and everything in between. Singular aim of this tutorial is to educate you about website cloning, whether or not you should. I want to believe that at the end of this tutorial, you will know more about website cloning and you will know if it is something you should consider or it is something you should avoid completely. So without further ado, I think we should get started immediately. So first things first, what is website cloning? It is pretty much what it sounds like. Cloning a website means creating an exact copy of an existing website. This can include its design, its structure, or even its content. Just think of it as making a duplicate key looks the same way it functions the same way because he can't open the same door but it's a brand new jam key completely so that's exactly what website cloning means before we talk about the good and the bad before we then come back and see whether or not this is good for you i think i should give you an experience i've been in the design space for a long period of time according to wpbeginner.com uh in 2024, over 43% of the entire website in the World Wide Web is hosted on WordPress. If that is the case, I believe using WordPress as an example would be very, very sufficient for this purpose. Even though we don't have enough statistics to how many people rely on the WordPress marketplace to buy themes, if I want to be very conservative after working WordPress website for many years, I will just give 70% of the entire website or even more to rely on WordPress theme market or WordPress marketplace like Theme Forest or like Template Moonstar to buy theme. So what this literally means is that we all rely on the exact same theme to design our website. We all rely on Astra, we all rely on Elementor to design our website. Basically, what this means is that the difference between your website and my website using Elementor, it is just the ability for me to customize my website different from yours. So what I'm saying in essence is that website cloning is an integral part, is a crucial part, as a matter of fact, of website design. I'm going to keep this thought and then let's talk a little about the good and the bad of website cloning and then we come back and then conclude and then you will make that decision whether this is good for you or this is not talking about the good and the bad of website cloning i think we should first talk about the not too good part of cloning a website first on the list is the obvious is legal i believe it is extremely criminal for you to copy an entire website and then you upload it online it's criminal sincerely that's my opinion about it i would never recommend anyone to do that it's extremely crazy if you don't do anything about it you take somebody else's website and you upload it online and use it as your own that's you deceiving people that you are a when you are actually not so going to the second one right now is the lack of originality when you clone a website, you are seen or you are perceived as lacking originality. You can come up with something entirely new for yourself. And simply put, it's just difficult for you to stand out in the market. So the next one again is SEO problem. So definitely, you will run into some search engine optimization problem. Point I want to be talking and not the least is potential technical issues. When you clone website, you tend to have technical issues, glitches here and there, bugs here and there. When not cloned correctly, you might have issues with proper customization. And all of these things will lead to poor user experience. That's a terrible website to have, right? So aside from the point that I've made right now, if you know of any not a good aspect of cloning website that you have seen or you have experienced before, please kindly share them in the comment section below. I would love to learn more about them. I believe that you can have a bad side and not have a good side. Sincerely, it's my opinion that something cannot be completely useless and not have any use whatsoever. And something cannot be extremely useful and won't have a bad side. So right now, let's talk about the good side of website cloning. The first I have on my list is saving yourself time and effort. 
one of the biggest benefits is that it saves you a ton of time and effort. Instead of building a website from scratch, you can replicate an existing one that you know has worked well. It's a no-brainer, right? It's just as simple, as easy as that. So let's go into the second one. So when you clone a website, you are cloning a design that has worked, a functionality that has worked. There is no need for you to guess it a working model. The third good part of cloning a website is a faster launch. Cloning a website saves you a lot of time and I've showed you on this channel some of the AI tools that can literally just help you clone a website within split seconds. And finally, it's cost effective. And this can be a big plus for startup and small businesses to scale up quickly. In my opinion, anything that is fast, that will save you so much time, that will save you so much money, that will give you a proven business model is something you cannot entirely throw away. It has its good sides. So if you know any other good part of growing a website that I have not mentioned that you have experienced or that you know, you can also leave that in the comment section below. I would love to read that as well. So right now, the ultimate question is this. Should you be cloning website or you should be designing your own website? My answer is simple. It's a question to you and I think it's a rhetoric question. Why are you cloning a website? I need you to ask yourself that question and that is where you get the answer to that question. If you are cloning a website because you want to save yourself time, you want to save yourself money, or you want to use a model that has worked, then it's fine. It means that you can clone an existing website. You can redesign it to make it original. That's the only time that it makes sense for you to clone a website. But if you are cloning a website for the purpose of pretending to be who you are not, or trying to give an impression of what you are not, then that's terrible. That is. The easiest way for you to land yourself in jail because you might just be landing yourself serious legal issues. Here is my conclusion. Just like I told you from the beginning, website cloning is an integral and an important aspect of website design. For you to rely on an existing design without much customization is a no. Whether or not you are cloning or you are buying a theme, what is most important is when you're cloning a website or when you are designing your website, either way, you are customizing it to make it extremely unique. The website cloning itself is not a bad thing. What you use it for is what makes it good or what makes it bad. So I think right now you should be able to answer that question by yourself, whether or not cloning a website is for you or not. Thank you for watching this video. I believe it has been super useful. If it has, give me a thumbs up. I'll be looking, I'll be reading up the comment section for your thoughts. I'll see you again in another video. And until then, yeah.